What's up, my crypto homies? Hope all is well for you today in the land of crypto. Try to keep this video short. I got something to say right here, right now. On the far right, up here in the upper right corner, that's where we're at today. It reminds me a lot of when I first got in to Bitcoin, where I very first started watching it was exactly right here. Let me get my magnet off. Right here is where I got into Bitcoin originally. I didn't know a whole lot about technical analysis and whatnot. And since then, I've got an education, a free education. Well, not free. I risked money for it. But <laughs> um, for those of you that watch my videos, you know, for the last couple of years, I've been saying buy down here, right? Buy down here because it's going to go way up. And I hope there's a lot of people out there that did that. Just, just straight buying, dollar cost averaging, however you did it on the spot market. I hope you've done that. You think this is a ride, right? We're just getting started. This bull run is just now starting, in my opinion. Why do I? I mean, it's it's interesting that it's just kind of a coincidence, right, that, that I got involved right here and how that's relevant now. Because right there is, let's put a horizontal line there at that top, top spike. If I can get it on there. Right there, boom, horizontal line. 19,000, just call it 20,000. That's the previous high back here to the left. This chart doesn't show it, but the previous high back in 2017 of the previous having cycle was there. And that's that's where this came up. And and uh, I think it went over it by just a tiny, tiny little bit, the previous high. I don't think it was quite 20,000. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Right, that ballpark, and it got rejected there. And you can see, let's zoom in on that. Let's zoom in on that. This is where I very first started watching it. It's very interesting to me for that reason. I think it's relevant. I'll circle that area. Boom. And uh, it kind of looks to me, see, see, it came up here, right here, boom. And it, and it failed from there, boom, rejected for a few days, and then just kind of consolidated. There's just about, about a month-long consolidation where I was maxing out my credit cards and stuff, right? Because I was, I had FOMO. I was, <laughs> I was scared to miss out. This time around, I'm actually paying off my credit cards right now, and getting rid of that before before I really get involved here. So that might not make sense to a whole lot of people, uh, but I'm gonna pick my choice. I'm gonna pick my spots, right? And the credit card debt's just it's just been eating away at me. So I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get out of that in the next three or four weeks. That's just my personal story. Let's not talk about that. But uh, I think this that is I think that's almost exactly where we're at now. See that right there? Boom. See that? We've come up there. Let's let's put a horizontal line at the previous all time high. Now, right? Just call it seventy thousand. I can't. Let's zoom in so I can get on the magnet on that. Boom. This is Femex, so the numbers will be just a tiny bit different. 69,124, right? So we had the bottom blue line, horizontal line is the 2017 previous cycle high at 20,000. This one's at 70,000. So why why do I think that's kind of where we're at now? See where I've circled here, I circled here. I think that's where we're at right now. Now, a lot of people are saying this cycle's totally different and whatnot, and it's it, it, it appears to be but it's, I don't think it is. It's just what I've been kind of saying for a long time is it's happening sooner, right? I believe I believe it's happening before the having event, right? This this one back here, the having event was was here, was uh, here like in May 2020, right? And this circle where I've got circled here is not till November, December 2020, right? Where I've got circled here is March 2024, and the halving cycle is, folks, April 18th. It could be a day or two before or after that, but just tentatively 30 days away. And and uh, so lots of times my analysis is, is, is really good. And me as a trader, I've made some mistakes. I'm basically playing even, uh, minus credit card debt. And uh, for those of you that watch, I, just, I don't want to talk too much about that, but I basically had life-changing money on the verge of it here and I got washed out 
and then I choked down here a little bit too. And uh, I started with very little, right? So I basically lost my profit and uh, in a nutshell, I'm basically even. So in crypto and uh, so that's my personal, I like telling what I did because it's valuable information. So basically I've got a free education and what I'm doing now, I don't have FOMO, right? I'm saying, I'm saying the parabolic pump is starting basically now, uh, probably in a couple of weeks. And I'm sitting here saying, well, I'm just paying off my credit card debt, right? <laughs> so I, I watched all this. I, I watched all this right before and uh, I'm, I'm experienced now. I got my magnet on, so I can't draw that line where I want. But, uh, you know, may, maybe I choke again. I, I don't know, right? I, that credit card is annoying, and it's, it's, I'm just getting rid of it. And, and uh, oh, uh, personal story. I bought a vehicle, and uh, a brand-new vehicle for for uh, delivery. So I locked in a couple years job security, right? Just paid cash, and uh, not with money I made on this market, but just money I made doing my job and uh i thought that was a good idea rather than put it into crypto uh you know of course if i would have put it into crypto it would have been down here and i basically would have doubled that money and i could have bought up two vehicles today but i don't know if my old vehicle was going to make it right see so there's lots of different ways everyone out there listening is looking at this a little differently right because your own personal finances and your own stories and where you're at in life and what's going on and this and that but uh anyways it's it's almost impossible to make a video talking to every single person, and uh, but uh, anyways, I think this is where we're at, folks. I think let's shorten this down a little bit. And uh, now I'm under the opinion that the next all time high, the next cycle high, is probably going to be under 150 thousand, right? And I'm actually I'm actually calling for it to basically double the last. I'm calling, I'm calling for 139,000, which would be right here. Boom. So those top blue lines. Somewhere in that ballpark, I think Bitcoin will top out and will not go over until the next cycle. So like three years from now, you could be talking about Bitcoin. Is it $65,000? I just want to know what you might be dealing with. I don't know what this top is going to look like, right? But but three years from now, way out here to the right, it could come back down here, boom, right? And maybe this is the bottom, or maybe maybe, maybe it comes down to 60 or 50, right? So just keep that in mind. And that wouldn't stay down there long, but I just that's way out in the future. I just want to I just want to show you probably what's happening here. You're gonna my the thing is is where I choked was here, and it was I was listening to some of the biggest, most popular YouTubers out there. They were saying it's going to 700,000, 1.2 million. 220,000, 330,000. And, uh, you know, I'm talking about the biggest, the biggest crypto channels you'll find on YouTube. That's what they were saying, right? And I had a gut feeling, let's zoom in on this. I had a gut feeling that uh, after I watched the same thing happen through here, this, this third peak here, I, I just had a gut feeling that Bitcoin was done for the cycle. But I just, I bought into the hype and the moon, the moon boy stuff. And uh, now the Moonboy stuff could be eventually right, but that's four, eight, 12, 16 years down the road, right? Don't, I'm, what I'm saying is, is you're going to hear a lot of stuff. And I just want to try to keep you wrapped. I'm going to keep you reeled in to reality because uh, I didn't want to talk about this in this video, but I'm going to now. So the Bitcoin market cap is 1.2 trillion. So give or take, you can look at it like this. Now, these numbers aren't perfect, but for every $50,000 in Bitcoin price, like a $50,000 Bitcoin is basically a trillion dollar market cap. So $100,000 Bitcoin will be like a $2 trillion market cap. $150,000 Bitcoin will be like a $3 trillion market cap. Now, that word trillion is a massive, massive, massive amount of money. So... What's easy to be forgotten with what you're about to see in the next few months, and I do believe Bitcoin's probably going to top out in about 13 weeks. It's, the cycle is basically going to top out and be over. Now, let me let me get to that here. That sounds a little extraordinary from what you're hearing in other places, most likely. But let me just get to it here. Let me say this first. So, so like a $200,000 Bitcoin would be $4 trillion, right? So the whole history of Bitcoin 
up until now at its all time high, for, you know, for argument's sake, just say so 65,000. We're basically there right now, close to the all time high. Is 1.3 trillion, let's say. So 15 years of Bitcoin existing, there's been $1.3 trillion put into it, right? And that's that's marvelous. But don't, I mean, think think about this. It's scale. It's a scale, right? The cycles are getting smaller and smaller. Like the, the original one that got everyone's attention was like 1,000 to 20,000. And the next one was 20,000 to 70,000. So it's a scale. The sheer amount of money it takes for it to go up $50,000 right? <laughs> a trillion dollars for every $50,000 in price. So a $200,000 Bitcoin would be $4 trillion. That, that, is, that is literally $2.8 trillion starting from today that needs to come in this year, right? That's, that's a massive amount. And I just don't think it's going to happen right now. But let's, let's not, you know, I just want to. I just want to keep you. If you're watching my videos and my channel, I want to. I want to keep you reeled in to what reality is mostly likely going to be. And so, Bitcoin's probably going to be not the best play here. But the thing is, is is all these cryptos will follow suit. The the altcoins is where I want to draw your attention to. Now, Ethereum, I'm going to say, has a chance to go to ten thousand. And this is probably going to happen a lot sooner than even the hype boys are telling you, right? I'll get to that here in a second. Why I think that. Ethereum, I must call probably 10,000. If you see Ethereum getting up to 10,000, you want to think about selling and just getting totally out of everything. Uh, a similar number, number here is, is Dogecoin. Probably has a good chance of going to a dollar, maybe a little over. But these, I like these numbers because they're nice and round, right? Ethereum, 10,000. Dogecoin, a dollar. If you see Dogecoin spike up to a dollar, you might want to think about just getting out of the market completely, right? So... <laughs> Now, my opinion could change down the road. Chainlink, I think, has a chance of going to one hundred dollars. If you see Chainlink up at one hundred dollars, you need to start, you know, you start thinking, right? Maybe <laughs> don't, you know, maybe you should stop long and with leverage. If you see Chainlink at a hundred, Dogecoin at a dollar, Ethereum at ten thousand, right? It's it's probably euphoric and and frothy, and it's probably time to get out of the market because the top's probably pretty close, and that would probably happen around the time Bitcoin. Maybe, maybe, you know, a little after Bitcoin tops out. And, and the top won't be, I don't think the top's going to be a big blow off sudden thing. I think it will, again, once again, what I think it will do is it will do, when, it, when we get up here in this ballpark, right, I think it's going to do, you know, there's going to be multiple chances, just like there was through here, right? And then again, it came up here a couple of times and hung out there. So I think there will be time for me to recognize and make videos saying, yeah, this is probably it. But okay, here's what I want to get to. Here's the point I want to get to. This is what you might not hear anywhere else. And hopefully this is an original thought coming from me that you haven't heard anywhere else. Is, is okay, let's get rid of all the scribble. And we'll just leave these two circles here. The one here is 70,000. I know it's not 70,000. We'll just say 70,000, right? Because it's, it's, you don't need a nitpick. It's that, it's that same action is happening. This circle here and this circle here at 20,000 and at 70,000, right? It came up. It, it went over a little bit over, you know, it just let's say it hit the high, right? Maybe a little tickled, tickled over the high a little bit and came back down and was rejected, right? That's the main point. It was rejected. The previous all time high, it came up, challenged it, it was rejected here. We just saw that same action, right? It came up, it actually beat the old all time high, but that's a rejection, right? It's, it's fallen down. So if that's where we're at and, and, you know, this this they're saying this cycle is different, but I don't think it is. I think it's just way sooner, and that is different for sure. But it's different in a time sense, right? It's in, it's different in a left to right sense, not a not an up and down sense. So here we go. Zoom in here. This consolidation. I think I think we're looking at a consolidation. I just rejected down. Let's zoom in on this and see see this. Look at this. Doesn't that look familiar right there? Look at this. Let's check this out. Boom, right there. See that? It came up here, rejected, boom. And, and now this consolidation comes right back, snaps back up, but then kind of goes sideways and down. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying that's what I got, but that that I think we're right here in these days, right here, right? Whether Bit, whether Bitcoin comes back up to 73,000 or it comes down to 60,000, I think is irrelevant, right? 
I think I think we're in this consolidation right there. Exactly, exactly where I started paying attention to Bitcoin back in November of 2020. I think I think we just witnessed that exact same action, right? So whether Bitcoin snaps back up here or or you know comes back down here, wh whatever it does, get that out of the way. That's annoying. Whatever this action is, right? It doesn't matter. I I, I think Bitcoin, if it the, I think this correction will probably stop at 60,000. There's a chance it comes down to 50. But even if it did that, I think it snaps right back up because the intense buying pressure. So I think this is a consolidation, right? And I, and I think this is coming. Boom, right? I think that's coming. And let's just say that this cycle really isn't that different. It's just the, the earliness of it has people freaked out. Let's just say that that's exactly where we're at now. See that? Boom. So I made videos while this was happening back here. And for a long time, I was saying this was the top, right? This this one right here. Let's zoom in on that. This, this is basically the end of the Bitcoin cycle. Now you say left to right, that's not true. But up and down, it is true. It's, it's $60,000, almost $60,000. That, that occurred on February 21st, 2021. So you say, well, look to the right, it beat that. Well, it did beat it, but this, this one here was like, it was like two days. It beat it for two days and failed. This was like six days it was above there and failed. And this came up to the basically exact same spot and failed, right? And then all the time later, it came back up. And for like two days here, it beat it and failed. And then this was the ETF, uh, fake Bitcoin paper futures product hype that pumped it up to the $69,000 level for like a day or two and then failed, right? So you know, all in all, Bitcoin was over, was higher than this original peak for like two weeks, <laughs> right? For like two weeks. So essentially, I was saying, you know, people don't want to hear it, but but the, the hype, the, hype the, the high, the cycle top, not the top, but you know what I mean, was essentially over here. And so if if this does kind of, is kind of the same type of deal, they're saying this cycle is different, but maybe it's not. I just want to draw this to your attention. If if the same thing were to happen, let's just put it that way, and I'm, I'm not saying it's going to, but if the same thing were to happen now, and it's, my gut's telling me this is probably going to happen, so I want you to be ready and be aware that it could be a lot quicker and a lot smaller than a lot of people are telling you. Now, it could extend out for a year and a half to two years to the right, but it might not go like, see the see example I'm saying, right? It, it, it could go like two years, right? Maybe it tops out here and, and, just, and it just kind of goes, you know, the top lasts for two years, right? And uh, Let's get a time frame. This is this is the main point I want to show you. The time frame of this, where I think we're at now, happened at the end of November of 2020, and that that top essentially is 60,000. And I should say the parabolic push. The parabolic push was essentially over on February. I think it's the 21st. Let's get an exact date. February. February 21st, 2021, that parabolic push, right? The end of November to February 2021. Now you're probably starting to see, oh, that's what he's talking about in a long-winded manner. <laughs> I got a lot more to talk about. I'm trying to avoid going off on a tangent. But see that? Let's squish it down onto a big time scale. See that? That parabolic push that I'm talking about? You know, it actually started down here a couple months before, like from 10,000s. But I got involved here at this consolidation, and I'm bringing that to your point because I think that's where we're at now is that consolidation before the big kahuna. And, and uh, you know, boom, this, this is the parabolic push right there, right? That's essentially the only parabolic push there was. Now, you can say this one was similar here, but, right, that was just kind of like a rehash of what already happened. And, uh, but, right, there, that's, that's what we're looking for. And I think that's a lot closer than a lot of people might know. Not could be wrong, but let's just say this played out in a similar manner now. 
end of November to February 21st is December, January, and then three weeks of February. It's four, eight, 11, uh, four, eight. Wait, what? <laughs> Let me do some simple arithmetic here. Uh, December, January, four, eight weeks, and then three weeks of February, nine, 10, 11 weeks. Throw in the weekends, the extra days after 28. Let's, let's say 12 weeks. 12 weeks, folks. Right now, from where we're at, what, wait, was it in the November? No, 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 no. I, I'm sorry. That was November. That was, I'm saying where we're at now is in November. This actually started in the, uh, the second week of December. So add, add 13 weeks. Add in the extra days. Four, 14 weeks. 14 weeks. 14 weeks from here. From where it came up, tested the all-time high, previous all-time high, and failed. From this point here, 14 weeks later, the parabolic push was done and over. And everything else to the right is basically just wash and, and sideways. See that? Now, of course, it's of course it's higher, and, I, and I'm not saying it's the all-time high, but you can see what I'm saying, right? The massive gains could be here in 14 weeks and done. Now, of course, you'll have opportunities after that, and it probably will go higher. But say, what would that look like? That would look like, in my opinion, Bitcoin consolidating here. Let's squash this down. Bitcoin consolidating here for a couple more weeks, and then, and then a, a big pump with a correction and a break, right? Because nothing goes up forever. But like, see, see how it happened here. This lasts for about a month. That correction. It'd be hard to believe it just goes straight up without a correction, right? But so watch out for like a correction halfway up, and then, uh, and then. Boom! Here's the, here's the rest of it, and say, say it stalls out at like 120, 130, right? And that that that's probably February 1st, 2021, over here on the left, on the far left here where I'm circling. The parabolic push is basically over. That could be it, folks. <laughs> where, where would that put us? 14 weeks from today, we put us at uh, January. Let's see, March. It'd be April, May, June. Uh, wait, let's see, wait, March 19th, it's January, February, March, April, May, June 19th, about the end of June, about the end of June, the parabolic push could be over and essentially the whole, the whole cycle is basically done. And I don't mean the cycle is done, of course, because there's more action to come, but that's, that could be, that could be what happens again, right? Those parabolic pushes are intense and they'll get you all frothed up and uh, hopefully I can recognize what's going on when we get up there. But say, say they come up here and failed at 130 and came back down and, and then, and then, and then boom, you know, and then it goes up, makes a run at 150 and fails. Right. So, so maybe, maybe, you know, it stalls out at 120 or 130 and then later on it actually does go, you know, 10, 15, $20,000 higher, you know, a few months down the road. But the point I'm making is the massive, the massive gains, could be starting right now over the next next 14 months or so, right? And uh, that's, you know, four, eight to us, two, three months, three and a half months from now, right? You, you, you may have just witnessed the, the entire parabolic push of the cycle and it's done and over and gone, right? And everything to the right is just chop. So <laughs> just keep that in mind and uh, be real leery. Because you know, one hundred and fifty thousand dollar Bitcoin is three trillion dollars market cap. That's a lot of money. That's a ton of money, and uh, the cycle scene. The cycles are getting smaller, right? So, like, just let's just uh, go out and uh, let's go to the right here, and just for kicks, let's let's play the next cycle, right? Let's let's squish this down, and. Uh, Say, say this cycle topped out under 150,000, and let's just you know say say it does this for a while, and don't don't look at the bottom of the dates and stuff, but just say it does this, you know, and here's the top, it's you know it's a multi multi top top, and it comes back down, boom, and here's the bear market, you know, 50 to 60,000, 
you know, maybe, I don't know, wherever it's at, right? And then, and then the next, the next cycle, boom, right? Goes up to like, like, uh, you know, once it doesn't, it doesn't even double. It probably, the next cycle in 2028 probably won't even double. And then on a logarithmic scale, this is what's happening to Bitcoin without a doubt, right? The, the, the amount of money coming in it is more massive, more massive, but the percentage of gains is smaller and smaller and smaller. It's a scale problem, right? So the next, the next top out here in 2028, or whenever it happens, 2029, whatever. Uh, maybe it's only 240,000, right? And then it comes down, and then the bear market's uh, 100,000, right? That's that's probably the real scale of what's going on. So uh, don't 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 get caught in the in the dream of Bitcoin's going to a million dollars, right? It, it probably will, but it's not going to be now, right? So just keep that in mind. Keep the scale scale problem in mind. Right, <laughs> trillions. You know, in, in, in Bitcoin's entire history, there's 1.3 trillion in the market cap right now. And we're basically sitting at an all-time high. Right, so just think about that. <laughs> Keep that in mind. All right, I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and do what I did.